One of the other things I've been just fascinated about this week, and I know it's not the sexiest headlines to ever be talking about the economy, but Joe Biden unveiling his new election battle plan focusing on the economy in this bid to win votes. He's calling it Bidenomics and we're spruiking the policy this week. Belief of growing the middle class to grow the economy. Now, this, I think, is just such a weak point for the Biden administration. It's only going to get worse. And embracing this term Bidenomics, Naomi, how do you think this has been play playing out? I, I think they've been having a tough time convincing people when generally the sense is that the economy isn't great. How do you sell Bidenomics? Well, what I think is really interesting is that this is obviously a play on Reaganomics, which was as you know, they would say trickle-down economics, which is something that this administration is against. As he sort of said, he's more focused on growing the economy from the middle out, as well as lowering um, costs and, and really sort of investing in this middle class. And, you know, as you sort of said, there had been polling this week that about, you know, a third of the electorate doesn't approve, or actually a third of the electorate does approve of the way that he handles the economy. I think the thing for them is that they know that they have, you know, 17 months before the next election. And it's what it takes that long, I think, for messages to sink through. Um, and so starting early and really trying to shape that message is really important. When when I know a lot of the economy is about data, as you mentioned, you were mentioning sort of um, statistics earlier in, in, this, in the show, but also a lot of it is sort of psychological and behavioural and particularly with things with consumer confidence. And so that is part of it as well. Um, and I also just think that if they don't, well, I think they also think the White House is, um, you know, in terms of the job, uh, the job numbers, which has helped the economy so far uh, resist a recession or a full-blown recession. And I think there's also a little bit of um, uh, complaints with amongst White House aides that they haven't gotten credit for that. You know, bringing down inflation from nine percent last year to four percent this year is something that they, you know, even though prices are still elevated, it's better than when he. Um, than when, uh, you know, like last year. And so I think that's also part of it. It's like taking his achievements while also trying to shape the message. Yeah, it's a tough one. And uh, I think especially it's just going to be that hard sell because most people have just tried to block out that the pandemic ever happened. And you had a really bad time and the economy is not picking up at the same pace. It's going to be a tough one for next year.